The last topic I want to talk about is your copyright, the copyright you own in anything that you publish and in the academic content that you produce. The SUNY Board of Trustees has determined that faculty and professional staff own the academic materials that they create in the course of their employment. It is not a work for hire. It doesn't matter if the academic materials that you create are for traditional face-to-face -face courses or for online distance learning courses. You own the material and therefore you can use it as you wish, you can restrict others use of it, and you can license and sell it. You can teach with it at another institution. You can put it under a Creative Commons license. This does intersect with your employment contract. So if you have questions about whether you may legitimately prevent another faculty member at your institution from using your materials, or whether you may legitimately sell your academic materials to another institution, it would be best to ask a UUP representative. Not everything that a SUNY employee creates is their own copyright. Classified staff do not appear to own the copyright in the works that they create in the course of their employment. Those are works for hire. Additionally, if you create works that can't be construed as academic content, for example, developing web copy or promotional materials, those count as works for hire. Finally, if you develop academic materials under a letter of agreement, what you are doing is accepting a lump sum of money in exchange for developing content that the institution will own. This does count as a work for hire. You should check the wording of the letter of agreement because it may specify whether you are permitted to use it at another institution. And finally, the scholarship and writing that you produce while you were employed by a SUNY institution is your own copyright. The only people that you might share authorship with are your co-authors. And as we said before, co-authors are people who contributed not only ideas but also the expression of those ideas. It is very important at this point to make the distinction between copyright and other forms of intellectual property, such as patents. The SUNY Board of Trustees treats patents very differently than copyright because the institution claims a share of the profits from patents that are created using institutional time and resources. No such share of your copyright is claimed, even if you researched and wrote using institutional time and resources.